Hey guys, so we have a full comparison here between the Sony Xperia L2 and the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. And let's get right to it. Now, is this a fair comparison? No, of course not. The Sony is one fourth the price of the Samsung. But it's more to say how much of a difference are these phones in terms of speed, in terms of the cameras, uh, the pigment scanners, specs, and more. Because honestly guys, the L2 is a very, very fast phone considering the price point. And the cameras on it are also pretty good. So the Galaxy is the first one to boot up. Both phones are still an 87 nougat. And the L2 also an excellent phone with the multitasking. And the L2 up as well. Alright guys, so we have a very in-depth comparison between both these phones and next up is go over the specs. On the L2 you have a 5.5 inch screen at 720p. And on the Galaxy 6.3 inches Quad HD. On the front both phones have 8 MP cameras. And on the back on the L2 you have one camera at 13 MP. And on the Galaxy you have two cameras, both of them are 12 MP. And of course you have front and rear facing camera comparisons coming later on in the video. On the Sony you have 32GB internal storage and on the Galaxy you have 64 And both phones do have micro SD card support. Both phones have 3300 capacity batteries. The Sony has a MediaTek processor while the Samsung is Snapdragon 835. And the Samsung has twice as much RAM on it. The Samsung is waterproof while the Sony is not. On the bottom both phones have USB Type-C. And both phones do have headphone jacks as well. Which of course now in 27, uh, actually 2018 that is an amazing feature having a headphone jack on the phone. Taking a look at the back, so the Galaxy of course has much higher quality of glass versus plastic. And both phones also have the scanners right here. So obviously the Galaxy is much better specs overall, but keep in mind the Sony is about one fourth the price. Alright guys, let's go ahead and continue with the rest of the test now. Alright guys, so everything's closed out on both. And getting started with NBC. And the Galaxy here by about, uh, let's say two seconds. Spotify. The vans are for the Galaxy, but pretty close. YouTube. And again, advanced for the Galaxy, but still pretty close. Settings. And iFunny. So once again, advanced for the Galaxy, but not a huge difference. So yeah, the Sony about 250 bucks, the Samsung about uh, at least a thousand bucks. Photos. And the Galaxy Note is an extremely fast phone. Uh, the Galaxy S8 Plus isn't, but the Note 8 is. Now you're gonna see a bigger difference here for the game, starting with Temple Run 2. So yeah, with the Galaxy Note, it's much faster than the S8 Plus in terms of opening the apps and the multitasking. Okay, so a couple more and moving on to more stuff. Next up we have Subway Surfers. And the Galaxy pretty easily win this one. So yeah, if I did a comparison with the S8 Plus, uh, S8 Plus rather than a Note, it would be a lot closer than this.
and it looking at two two, so big difference in the score here, but it won't impact daily stuff, just the gaming. Rock Angels, no copyright. So next we have a comparison of the speakers. And this induced for about a minute. First up we have the Sony. And that's kind of annoying me when you just make it like that. Alright, so first up we have the Sony. And now the Samsung. Back to the Sony. And one more time on both. Final time here on the Samsung. So obviously in terms of quality, uh, definitely go to Samsung here. But the Sony is not that bad. So next up we have Chrome and Chrome web history. So we have four different sites and first is IGN. And advance here for the note. Next up is INDB. And interesting, this one actually pretty close on both. Next up we have Sony. So the Sony is actually doing a pretty good job here for the web browsing. Yeah, so that one advanced for the Sony. And the final one here we have Samsung.com. So yeah, Sony doing a pretty good job with the web browsing. Definitely impressive. So next we have a thing with scanner tests, and again they're right here on the back. So honestly guys, I think the Sony is actually a lot more accurate than the Samsung. It just is a lot more responsive. And in terms of speed, I think it's pretty close. Uh, definitely the worst part about the Galaxy. Well, obviously guys, with the placement here, right uh, right to the left of the camera lens. it's So the famous scanner is pretty hard to access. It's in a bad place. And it's also pretty small, especially compared to the Sony. Alright guys, so we still have some camera tests, but next we'll do the multitasking. Wow, yeah, that is really good DL2 not restarting the game. Same with the Samsung, of course. But the big majority of phones do restart this, so very impressive for both. Spotify.
pretty close, but a Bandit for the Samsung. NBC. And interesting, looks like something is, okay. Oh, that's why I, I had uh, scrolled down it, that's, okay. You do? Excellent. Settings. Once again, very good job on both. Temper on two. Excellent job. I funny. Once again, very impressive for both. Now the Galaxy Note 8, definitely one of the best multitasking phones on the market. So for the L2 doing extremely well here. Yeah, really not restarting any of these. Except for eBay. Subway Surfers. And yeah, very impressive not restarting on either one. And final one was to Chrome. Excellent job again. <laughs> Oops, guys, almost hit over the tripod there. So next up, we have a comparison to camera speed. And right after this front and rear facing camera comparisons. So not surprising, the Samsung looks a bit faster here. And here's a test of the front facing cameras and right out this road side and test out the rear facing cameras. And test out the image stabilization. And here's a test of the front facing cameras and right out this road side and test out the rear facing cameras. And test out the image stabilization. And here's a look at the rear facing camera. And that's something in the stabilization. And the book there at the max museum. So which of these two phones are better? Obviously the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. And the Galaxy Note 8 is also one of my favorite phones of 2017. But that said, guys, is it worth four times as much? Is it worth spending four times as much money to get the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 over the Sony Xperia L2? And that's really up to you guys. But personally, just in terms of value, I think that the Sony is a better buy than the Samsung. So thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And let me know in the comment section below if you think it's worth getting the Sony over the Samsung or the Samsung over the Sony. If you want some more videos like this in the future, you want to press the button in the middle to subscribe for more. Or you can press it in the corners for another video right now. And as always, thanks for watching.